open source spirit that wants to run Linux. It was fairly easy to do. There was nothing much uh, that you can actually do wrong. I'll see if I can, if you really want to, I'll do a, a little screen steps tutorial about the process, but it's not really that hard. And the rest, after you install Linux, it's like just configuring Linux. We have a manual for that. It's called um, Ubuntu as it should be. And that's a screen uh, manual that will show you how to configure Ubuntu nice and dandy to do that. And the installation on the MacBook Air was fairly easy. Now, I must say, if you are looking for stuff like that to do uh, on a MacBook Air, there, uh, there's an application out there, and I think it's called Refit. And it's actually a bootloader. It will, instead of having to hold down the Alt key, will give you a, a screen that lets you select the multiple partitions. I suggest against that. I used it. I had some trouble with it uh, in installing Linux afterwards. What I just did, do the Apple Boot Camp uh, installer, and instead of taking a Windows CD, just take a Linux CD, wipe the FAT32 partition, install on there, and you're good to go. I think um, for me, this was a very, very productive hack. I really, really like it. I keep holding it upside down. Have you noticed? I don't know what I have to say about that, but you know, I really like the MacBook Air right now because it's faster. It's really, really fast. It's a dream uh, Linux machine. It looks good. It's thin. The battery power is great. Uh, the screen is nice and upside down. Uh, the screen is uh, nice and bright and the video cards fast and I think that my MacBook Air now really stands out as opposed to the super powerful MacBook Pro that I have because this baby runs Linux and it's not that hard to do. So I hope I've given you some inspiration and uh, perhaps you might want to try it yourself. So that's all we have time for this week on KWTV 0022 Ubuntu on a MacBook Air. Um, I'm going to leave you to it. We'll be back next week with a podcast or a video screencast, depending on what I have the time for. But uh, we'll be back next week. If you want to help the show, you know where to go. Nightwise at nightwise.com for your feedback. Twitter.com slash nightwise if you want to follow us on Twitter. If you are watching this episode and you're near a Twitter account, why not click the link? That would be cool. And, uh, you know, oop, my uh, iPod's running out of juice. That's uh, so all better go. Uh, and uh, if you want to help the show, go to iTunes and give us a review on iTunes. That really, really helps. So see you guys around and girls, and we'll see you on the flip side. Bye.